Asian American athletes are dominating in women's golf. <laughs> Megan King is among those leading the pack. It's pretty cool to kind of be the first Hmong American player out on the LPGA Tour. Her journey started at just five years old, thanks to her dad, a self-taught golfer and coach. Just kind of learned everything from magazines and YouTube and just <laughs> literally ran on the most minimum amount of hours of sleep. As soon as the sun kind of cracked open, he was like, I'm ready to go out there. Kang's mom, a school teacher, became the primary breadwinner after the family decided to go all in to develop their young athlete. Being immigrants from Laos during the Vietnam War, they kind of sacrificed everything to give us the best life we could possibly have. But they were very honest with me at a young age, and we weren't super fortunate to have uh, quite the financial backing as some of my friends. But I think it definitely helped put things in perspective, like, hey, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it 100% in because we don't have the money to necessarily go to and from golf tournaments. We were driving to tournaments where some friends were flying uh, easily. We were stuck in the car for 12, 13 hours. If it was a bad round, it wasn't the most fun car ride. Mm. Allison Lee, also atop the leaderboard, is a daughter of Korean immigrants who quickly moved up the ranks with the steady support of her parents. I never saw them use a penny to purchase something for themselves. It was always to save money so we can afford playing in events and continuing what I love to do. Breaking through also meant shutting out the doubters as she stayed the course. You know, people always viewed golf as boring or an old man, old white man sport. Like, why are you playing this game? And all the time, all the teacher's response would be, why are you missing so much school for this? Why do you care about this so much? You shouldn't be doing this. You should be focusing on school. But a lifetime of mastering the game has now given these two women, who are also friends in real life, a shot at earning a spot on Team USA for the Paris Olympics. When I was a little girl, my chinarmani on my dad's side, my grandma on my dad's side, she's passed now. She would always say, um, which means like you're going to win the gold medal. To be able to even make the Olympics and to give it a shot, I think it would mean so much. And I definitely, you know, think about my grandma when it comes to that. What would it mean for you to represent Team USA? It'd be pretty cool to just kind of be, like I said, first Hmong American playing for your country. You know, it's America truly is a melting pot. For a game built on tradition, historically male-dominated with little diversity, the landscape has changed. Six of the top 25 female players in the world are Asian American. It's a global game. It's a global tour. We touch people all over the world. And so we have this opportunity to show women from all backgrounds that they can do hard things and they can do big things. What would you say is behind this trend? Yeah, I mean, we have some phenomenal Asian American players. I think a lot of it is 1998, Sayree Pack sort of took the world by storm, winning the U.S. Open in dramatic fashion. And there it is! We had women like Michelle Wee, who was a superstar from the time that she was 13. When I ask my young daughters, you know, sort of, who do you think of when you think of the LPGA, they think of Michelle Wee. She's a dynamic athlete, and she was, she was one of the first really athletic uh, LPGA players, and I think she was just super inspiring to a lot of young girls. These trailblazers drove diversity on the green and teed up the next generation. For little girls all across the country to be able to watch come out to an event and to be able to touch the lives of those girls and hopefully inspire them to play golf too. Do you ever sit back and reflect on how far your family has come? Definitely. It kind of puts everything in perspective again of like, wow, we've come such a long way and we're not done yet. Going the distance by seeing golf as more than just a game. Kathy Park, NBC News, Los Angeles. Nightly Films is sponsored by Pfizer. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.